Good morning, this is Martin, your paint buddy from the White Boat Studio in Sosopol, Bulgaria. I've been getting a few queries on my Facebook, uh, paint buddy Facebook page about sketching, plein air painting and pen and inks. So I just thought I'd put together a, a short video on my solution to the problem. Um, going back a few years, in 1991, <laughs> I was illustrating for this Yorkshire magazine and I used to um, spend hours and hours on detailed drawings like this using the finest, finest mat mapping pens. I don't know if you can see the amount of work that's gone into those. And it took me about 100 hours to do each of these pen and inks. Now, although it taught me a lot about tone and um, planes in watercolour painting, which I've also been chatting to about this morning, um, it was a labour of love and it wasn't very enjoyable. Now, the trouble with painting watercolours in hot countries, which is where I teach, is that um, everything dries so fast um, that it's very difficult to have any control over the wash. You can't do wet into wet techniques very easily without constantly battling against the temperature and the humidity. So this was my solution. I met a lady in um, Bangkok uh, called Elsie Evans, who's a Scottish artist and a great lady. She's got a fantastic retreat. And she introduced me to this. Uh, this is Lamy ink, which dries to this lovely green colour. And this is a Lamy pen. These are made in Germany and they're precision tools. They're great, they come with different sized nibs. It's got a refillable cartridge. Um, and so this was my solution. I wanted to paint on the beach uh, and it was very hot and it was very humid. So I played around with this and also this, which is a water brush. So this is just filled with water and you can see it. You squeeze it and the water comes out of it. So my solution to not using watercolours when I'm sketching is to use ink and the water brush. Now together these two things don't seem very groundbreaking but if you can if you can do this then it means that you can do very fast sketches um, on location. So I use, I, I do a tonal sketch using the pen and ink and the water brush and then sometimes when I get back to um, back to where my paints are I'll add some colour to it so then it becomes like a line and wash, like <laughs> just can't find one now. Like this. So this is a scene of Lefkada, um, Fiscado on Kefalonia uh, in Greece. So I did this with a pen and ink, um, using this water brush, and then added the colour later. So it ends up being a, um, a, a line and wash painting, basically. Uh, this is just a cheap sketchbook. It's nothing special and I think I got it from Lidl and it's just full of basically my travels. This is Meteora and I'll just demonstrate how to use this. You can see the tonal varieties that you can get there from the darkest darks to the lightest lights which is basically this paper and it's um, this one is actually a cream kind of sketchbook so it gives me um, it's not too bright and not too white. So I'll show you how I use this. I'm going to zoom in on, on this just so you can see in detail. Let me just check that you can see that page. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is prepare the water brush just by giving it a squeeze, which means that it's, it's got water dripping out of it. And then I use the black pen, the black pen for the darkest darks. I don't know if you can see that. And then very quickly, so you can only do a small section at a time, I add water to the water brush, to the ink. And then it can go from the very darkest darks to the lightest lights, just with the water. Now you've got to work quite quickly, so you can only do a, a small section at a time. So for instance, I would do a section of the wall here, yeah, I'll do a section of the wall here and then add the water brush to the ink before it dries and if I want a black I don't add any water to it. 
So that's my solution to plein air painting. Um, hope you found that interesting and uh, watch again soon. There'll be lots more coming from me. Bye now. So this is my sketching kit. It all fits in this little box. Let me just zoom out so you can see it. So it all fits in this little box with an elastic band. I have a scalpel, there's usually a putty rubber in here, pencil sharpener, a lead sharpener for my Lamy propelling pencil, which I also love. And uh, that's about it. So when I go out sketching, all I need is this small box and my sketch pad, and it'll just fit in my pocket. So no bulky stuff to carry when you're painting outdoors for me.